Well, I'm standing here in the wonderful spring sunshine, uh, less than a year to go until the 250th birthday of William Wordsworth. And what better place to stand than on Loughrigg Terrace looking out over the Vale of Grasmere. In this short film, we're going to talk you through our plans for reimagining Wordsworth, partly in celebration of his 250th birthday and partly looking to the future and seeing how Wordsworth is very valuable to our lives today. Jeff, just under a year to go until Wordsworth's 250th birthday and we're standing outside the place where it all began. I wonder what he'd make of this with the, with the great tent over his little cottage. Amazing, isn't it? It is amazing, really, and uh, to think that uh, reimagining Wordsworth now, 128 years from the beginning of the Wordsworth Trust in 1891, is probably the biggest project that we've undertaken in our history. And I think one of the most exciting things for me is actually that to be able to, if we get it right, give people that uh, sense of taking Wordsworth away with them mm. and carrying his poetry out into the landscape that they come here to enjoy uh, mm. and get that spiritual uplift from. But then, not just when they're in the Lake District, but when they go home to Manchester or Birmingham mm. or London or wherever, that they've actually got that, that little piece of Wordsworth with them. And you can imagine cram crammed into this tiny little cottage, yet Wordsworth manages to write some of the greatest works of English literature while he's living there in these very domestic circumstances. He talked about the ideal lifestyle being plain living and high thinking, and that's pretty much what's happening here in the cottage. When the project is completed in April 2020, a new entrance and reception area will welcome you when you arrive. Poetry will be at the heart of your experience, and you will encounter Wordsworth's words from the very start of a visit. And to think that what happened in that little cottage, what, half a mile from where we're sitting, those poems are, are, are read world, world over, and we've got here the piece of paper on which they were first written. Yeah. You know, it's a kind of amazing... You've got to really stop and think that, haven't you? What does that really mean? That, that when you pick up a book of, of Wordsworth, uh, an Oxford edition, anywhere in the world, any bookshop in the world, and you pick up and you read Wordsworth, most of it perhaps was written here, the, the ones that we read, and the pieces of paper on which they were first written is in that library down there, and it will be in the new museum. I think one of the main ways that people can connect with the lives of the Wordsworth here is by seeing their original manuscripts. There's nothing more magical than looking at a notebook like Dorothy's journal or one of William's draft notebooks and seeing their actual words on the page and knowing that they were the ones that wrote those words there. And I don't think anyone can look at those and not feel some kind of connection to people that lived over 200 years ago. Before you enter Dove Cottage, a short film in the stable next door will set the scene and transport you back in time. Sensitive conservation work on Dove Cottage will ensure that it's in great condition for future years. Inside, the cottage will become more authentic and atmospheric, a step back in time in which you can feel a sense of both the everyday and the inspirational. So Wordsworth's relevance to me, you don't realise how important he is. Um, so I think all poets are connected to, to one another and it was great to kind of investigate his work in context. So he wrote a lot of his best work while he was here in Graysmere. So I've been reading some of that work, uh, the, the preludes and um, also uh, the lyrical ballads and also just doing some of the walks and understanding that he's in many ways he, he feeds into what a lot of contemporary artists are doing around nature and the importance of, of mankind and the, the importance of our connection to nature. And um, in many ways, he, he does it quite gracefully. It's not like a, a separate project. He's observing the world and realizing our importance in it. And uh, right now, as we're, we're looking at how at climate change and other things, uh, he's very much, he was a very, very aware of the, um, the of modernization but how that should not interrupt our connection with the nature and the world around us and our connection to one another. Um, he was also a very passionate poet, he was also um, he, he, a political poet, he, he, he actually saw the French Revolution and right now we're going through a lot of change in the world and it's actually showing how a poet connects with the world around him. Yeah, outside. this building that we know is going to become our new learning space and it's perfectly situated Sort of book ending the Jerwood Centre at one end, the, the learning space at the other end, modern building, but this is the, the space that we know that will welcome school groups, it will welcome community groups, it will welcome local groups. 
I'm standing in what is going to be, in a few months, our transformed learning space. And what we're hoping to do is to bring some of the outside in. So the idea is that the inside will have lots of natural colours, lots of natural space, maybe even some tree branches. Um, there'll be space to display bits of our collection, but also hopefully to display some of the artworks and the creative writing that children create while they're with us on site. If people left our museum and they just took, felt like noticing more as they walked, I mean, that would be, that would be a great outcome I think, for a visit, as well as a pleasant day out. Um, if, if something entered the people's lives after that, I think Wordsworth would be pleased by that. An expanded museum with a contemporary design will celebrate Wordsworth's significance today. A new viewing station with stunning views of the surrounding fells will give you the chance to stop and take in the landscape that inspired Wordsworth. So Jeff, out of these many thousands of wonderful treasures that we have here as part of our collection, how have we ultimately chosen the objects and the books and the manuscripts and the pictures that will go on display? We've been guided throughout the process by the research that we've done in the many years that are leading up to this moment. And we know that people are very interested in the human stories behind the manuscripts and behind the poems. One of the things that I find really interesting about Wordsworth when he comes back to live in the Lake District at Dub Cottage mm. is that it's not, uh, he's not running away from the world, he's not uh, wandering lonely, it's very much about engaging with the world. Mm. And uh, how can you say a little bit about how we were going to get that message across to our visitors? I think we, in our ambitions for all that we do, um, come back to Wordsworth's own ideas that he wishes that his poetry will live and do good. So how, how do we do that? And I think that there might be some museums you go to where you come away knowing a little more. A nice afternoon, that's all good. Well, we'd like to do that for sure. But perhaps our museum, our, our visit here, um, might, might just ask, invite people to ask a question about, about the lives we live today. You know, if we lived a little closer to nature, if we did show a little empathy for others, if we did think about nurturing our own imaginations and our own creativity, well, could we make our worlds a little better? Could we make the world for other people and the natural world around us a little better as well? So it's not, we're not, it's not, it's not forcing people. It's just offering that invitation to reflect a little through words of words and, and the life that we live. A call to action, as it were. That's what Even we though that action might be quite a small step, at least people are going away and actively engaging. I think for me the, the possibility of having a new gallery space in which we can share so much more of the incredible stories that we have here in the collection and really give people a chance to take a closer look and spend more time with the wonderful things we have here, that for me is just very exciting and I can't wait to see how it looks. A redesigned cafe and terrace overlooking Dove Cottage will be the perfect place to relax and enjoy a cup of tea in these unique surroundings. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began, so it is now I am a man. So be it when I shall grow old or let me die, the childish father of the man I could wish my days to be, bound each to each by natural piety. A really exciting element of the Reimagining Wordsworth project has been all the different ways in which it's allowed us to engage with new people in different places, both here on site and around the world and around Cumbria. Um, here at Dove Cottage, we're developing a sensory garden in what used to be an outdoor farm area, which we hope will be used by school groups visiting and all of our casual visitors to the site to engage a Wordsworth poetry in a much more sensory and active way, maybe sitting reading poems in the outdoor spaces, listening to the sound of the birds and feeling perhaps at one with nature. We're also developing a Wildwood Explorer area in the wood behind Dove Cottage, which will be a place full of Wordsworth poetry and the chance to explore nature and woods in the same way that Wordsworth would have done when they lived here. Beyond this, we're looking to engage with new groups of people beyond those we've worked with before. Um, each year over the course of the project, we're engaging with healthcare, healthcare professionals and Wordsworth academics through our Shared, shared Skills project, um, a chance for us to bring poetry into the lives of people living in care homes and people living with dementia. Um, we'll also be working with university groups and refugee groups over the next two years, hosting residentials here in Grasmere to bring students and refugees together to learn from Wordsworth practice and develop skills in the future. Millions of people every year are still, still coming to the Lake District and seeing that sense of uplift 
about the landscape can we and I think yeah. probably what we've reflected on is the fact that they don't always take words with, with them as part of that and again I just it would be so wonderful to have the sense of somebody say standing on Lufferick Terrace or standing mm. on the top of Scorfell Pike and and having words within their mind and in their hearts while here I stand not only with the sense of present pleasure but with pleasing thoughts that in this moment there is life and food for future years.